written off as a surfing has been five years ago is blazing all before him. Mark Ocalupo has returned from the surfing dead in one of the great comebacks of Australian sport. Sean Murphy. <coughs> the greatest comebacks in Australian sport. Um, people don't realise how down he was and um, how much he's got back up. So, uh, you know, I think it's unbelievable. Yeah, Nobody's ever stepped away from the sport and gone through what he's gone through and stayed away so long and then come back and, and charged so brilliantly. It's unprecedented. More than 15 years after bursting onto the world surfing scene, Mark Ocalupo's powerful style continues to thrill like few others. At 31 years of age, he's now leading the world rankings, winning his first major event in more than a decade at the Bell's Easter Classic in Victoria. I was wanting to win a special event, a major event, and, uh, and Bell's was obviously uh, really special to me and uh, I dedicated it to my father. Paying homage to his late father, Luciano, has closed a chapter in Ocalupo's life. But his amazing story continues to unfold. That the Sydney-born surfer is now rated a serious world title contender is a feat of great courage and inspiration. Ten years ago, at the height of his career, Ocalupo turned his back on the sport. I was sick of uh, travelling uh, out of a suitcase and I... Uh... I probably missed out on a lot of things that guys get to do um, growing up, you know, especially at home and especially Australia. I missed Australia a lot. Although still surfing with the same remarkable flair, Ocalupo began a depressing downward spiral, ballooning 30 kilograms in weight and remaining housebound for months. <laughs> Today, he credits his wife Beatrice with turning his life around. When I met Beatrice, um, uh, she hadn't really even heard of me. I didn't have much to my name at all, but B, you know, um, she's been the ultimate uh, saviour to me in, in, in every way. And um, after I met her, um, that's when I started seeing a, a psychologist. Um, and uh, through that time, I put on a lot of weight too, and it was um, a, a real interesting part of my life. And uh, I don't regret it at all. What he went through was hard. Like. But it was a really important part of his life, you know, like he grew and changed and realised a lot of things about himself. Beatrice Ocalupo hopes her husband's comeback will inspire others with personal problems. People that, that have been down and, you know, sometimes you see no way out, but they can look at him and think, well, he did it and look, look how he's, like, changed his life. I mean, he's an incredible surfer, an incredible natural surfer. That was really obvious from even when he was like 12 or 13 years old. So you always knew he had the skill, but uh, mentally it's it's a pretty amazing achievement, I reckon, to come back like that, yeah. One up and over the lip. Former champion and respected surfing commentator Nick Carroll believes Ocalupo can crown his comeback by denying America's Kelly Slater a fifth consecutive world title. I know Kelly wouldn't like that to happen. He'll probably fight it tooth and nail, but the fact that he's got a fight tooth and nail would be a great thing. Former world champion Damien Hardman, competing in his testimonial event in Sydney this week, agrees that even at the age when most surfers are retiring, Ocalupo can go all the way. Well, if I was a betting man, I'd put my money on him. I think he's got what it takes, and he's... I think he's hungrier than Slater. He's more driven than anyone on the tour, and... Uh, now he's the first one out in the morning before the event and the last one in, so if um, dedication's got anything to do with it, he'll win. Ocalupo is enjoying his comeback, but claims competition comes a distant second to his renewed love of the ocean. In retirement, he hopes to become an advocate for a cleaner, healthier marine environment. It's my, my whole uh, livelihood, my lifestyle, and it's my um, it's everything. I pay homage to the ocean. It's just not a love, it's like a spiritual thing for me. Um, and I think it's crying out for, for uh, everyone's help from from everything to overfishing to um, to dumping waste in the ocean. And uh, one day we're probably going to see something happen with the ocean that is going to show us how.
Great rides. Margot. Look, organisers planning to. Mitchell White set for a comeback with the West Coast Eagles. And three metre waves take veteran Aussie Mark Ocalupo to victory at Bells. For Mark Ocalupo is the new number one in the world rankings after winning the annual Bells Beach event. It was Oki's first title after making a comeback last year. Mark Ocalupo has completed an amazing comeback, taking out Australia's most prestigious surfing event, the Rip Curl Pro. Surfing's bell is now his. Charging through the three metre conditions to win his quarter and semi-final, Ocalupo met Hawaiian Shane Dorian in the final and easily had his measure. Today, his steps uncaddy for him, taking spare boards out the back, and his life couldn't be sweeter. I feel unbelievable. I, I, you know, I wanted to win this one for so long, and it's been my first win for 12 years, and wow, words can't explain it. Another Australian ace. Super a few years younger than I am, <laughs> yeah. uh, that I feel like that, and uh, I'm more um, mature, and uh, I know how to win. And, and uh, Steve Surfer has stand out in the opening round of the Coke Classic. The world's number one catches Bell's form on track, punishing the one metre plus surf. This wave, a 9.25, the best of the day. His main rival, American Cully Slater, also sailed through to the next round with his usual high quality show. Former Newcastle surfer Luke Egan was also eager to impress the judges with some big manoeuvres. And that's the latest in sport, Steve. The most prestigious event, the Rip Curl Pro at Bell's Beach. The 31-year-old has been waiting 12 years to break through at Bells and is now searching for a first-ever world title. Professional surfers just aren't meant to excel in their 30s, particularly after a four-year competitive absence. Mark Ocalupo turned that theory inside out when, at 30, he just failed to steal Kelly Slater's world title last year, a decade after he'd been near the top. His stunning comeback year set up new challenges for 1998, Heading the list, victory at Bells, and then the World Championship. A wonderful semi-final performance against Michael Campbell put Ocalupo into the final against Hawaiian Shane Dorian, seeking his first professional title. Again, Ocalupo found the two to three metres surf to his liking, scoring a comprehensive five-point victory over Dorian, who spent much of 1998 making a surf film. Ocalupo emerged from the surf triumphant, finally fulfilling a lifelong dream. I feel unbelievable. I, I, you know, I wanted to win this one for so long and it's been my first win for 12 years and wow, words can't explain it. They really, really can't. The victory took him to the top of the world rankings ahead of five-time champion Kelly Slater. I want to um, commemorate this win to my father, the China Ocalupa, who passed away in uh, 1990. The Queenslander's tenth tour victory was worth $20,000. Rob Waters, ABC News. I took manoeuvres. And that's the latest in sport, Steve. Thanks for One of Australia's best surfers, Barton Lynch, caught his last wave in competition today. The former world champion was beaten in the second round of the Coke Classic by Newcastle's Matt Hoy. A fitting finale to a 15-year world tour. Barton Lynch's epic journey coming to an end at the beach break where it all began. I feel content, relieved. I feel like um, I was really fortunate to live my dream for 15 years. In today's first heat, the carefree goofy footer eliminated by good mate Matt Hoy, who Lynch will now handle from ashore. I used to look up to him when I was a kid, you know, now I'm on tour with him now, he's my mate, now he's my manager, you know, if I had to be, you know. I've got I to help him make some more money in his afterlife, so, you know. The 34-year-old might have signed his last autograph in the competitive arena, but his presence is likely to change surfing forever. You now, Martin's still going to be involved uh, with the, the surfing and that, and, uh, and hopefully with me. And, you know, it's sad, but it's, it's another time in his life, I guess. A life fulfilled, respect from his peers, 17 career wins, a world title in 88. They would have told me that I would have been able to have done what I've done to achieve what I've done and avoided work for 15 years and done the tour, I would never have believed it. Lynch will be missed on tour, but he won't be far from the 